Um, I wanted to, I'm going to be selfish because I'm up here and you guys aren't, and I'm going to talk about an episode that I really like. Um, you talked uh, in interviews about the show being a coming of age story, about your relationship with your brother, and um, I've had this experience with it where um, my favorite episodes are, are actually about the gems and sort of their role as, and shortcomings as parental figures. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the test, this episode made me cry, made my wife cry. Um, and I think it's that thing, I don't know if you guys are old enough to have experienced this, but um, I read Calvin and Hobbes as a kid and I always thought his parents were like, kind of like, bossy and annoying. Mm -hmm. Then I reread it recently and I really like deeply relate to the parents more than I relate to the <laughs> So, and, and I think one big part of that for me with the show now is the character of Pearl. Like, she's my favorite character. <laughs> um, and I was, I was wondering, um, thinking about the show in terms of the Crystal Gems as, as parental figures or that side of it, can, can you talk a little bit as much as you want about that part of the show or about Pearl specifically? Well, um, I mean, there's so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll try. I'll try and go quick. I mean, I love. I'm so. I love how the test came out. I think. Um, I mean, I know with with my brother, I, I feel like I always had the sense that I was sort of doing everything wrong. But because I was doing it wrong first, I could tell him just to, like, Stephen, don't do that. And then I would see him have this sort of happy, you know, like like a healthy circle of friends and, and everything's going great and I'm like, oh, that's great, like it's not like me. <laughs> just, like, totally, you know, I'm, I'm blowing my high school experience yeah, and yeah. Steven's doing it good because yeah, yeah. I'm telling him what not to do. Um, I think, you know, Pearl especially uh, is, um, I think, I've struggled with some, like pretty dangerously low self-esteem and I think I unpack a lot of that through Pearl and Steven has always really been there for me. Um, as someone I can always count on. Uh, so that stuff, I got a, uh, I, the whole end of <laughs> Rosa Scabbard, I, I, I boarded a chunk of that. Um, and that's really about something that he would actually do when I would get really upset. Um, he would just sort of change the subject and do something else or play some video game. He knew that I liked it. He wouldn't say anything. He would just do that. To and, draw you into that. Yeah, to be like, okay, we're, you know, just doing this now and then. But I would know, like, this is not what you want to do. You're doing this because you know it'll cheer me up. And, and he didn't have to say it, and I didn't have to say it. We would just do something else. And um, that was just, uh, and I'm going to stop. Yeah, no, because I'm getting. <laughs> um, so uh, I was curious, like, I, I know there's a lot coming on the show that we want to know about. Well, we won't ask, but uh, a lot of surprises. And, and, and one thing I, I noticed with Adventure Time and, and, and now with Steven Universe is that there's a lot of back history and secrets and Easter eggs and things just built into the fabric of the show in a way that I don't think I remember other shows doing. I don't remember that experience. So I was wondering, how do you, how much of it is planned in advance? And is that is there like pressure there? Is that a new thing for animation now to have to have? all these threads hidden throughout the show to unveil later as spoilers and whatnot. I mean, I think, well, especially with Adventure Time, um, a lot of us sort of came together and started to do that because that's the stuff that we really wanted to do. And then going into Steven, um, I think people who sort of knew that I was doing that kind of stuff then came together around me for this. So I think, uh, I mean, on the other hand, now that there's a way to sort of keep watching these things over and over, there's like a scrutiny that can happen that, that I mean, things are not disposable, and I mean, they never were. I've seen every like all the episode of The Simpsons like a billion times, and can can sort of uh, sort of quote everything. But uh, I think now stuff sort of intended to be, uh, or can can be that puzzle if you want it to be. I think the thing is that my team, we all really want it to be. So 